Hey guys, it's me, My Reborn, and I am back with another video. So today is Sunday, September 26th, and it's currently 4.58 p.m. And I have my new silicone baby right here, and I wanted to do a pacifier try-on haul today for this video. And I was going to do this video a little bit earlier, but I was... I wasn't busy, but I was just doing something, so I just waited a little bit to do this video for you guys. So I want to start posting four times a week before I will post three to five times a week, but I think four is what I want to do. I think I want to have a set schedule on posting Wednesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Um, let me know if that's a good posting schedule day for you guys, because if it is, then I would love to fulfill that for you all. But yes, we just have my silicone baby right here and I have a wide variety of different brands of pacifiers for this baby to try on to see which one I personally like best. And his mouth is, you know, already open. And um, so yeah, also this baby does have a name. I've been calling this baby by this name for a few days, well actually like a week now, trying to see if I like it, trying to see if it sticks, and it does. So the next video on him will be his name reveal. I'm not gonna do it in this video, just to make sure I really want this name. So yes, he does have a name hopefully, and name reveal will be next. Um, if you guys have any video requests with this little one, then go ahead and let me know by commenting down below. So I am going to show you guys the pacifiers we have for this video and go ahead and get started. I hope this is a good angle for you guys. He's kind of like an awkward angle. I really just want his mouth for this video, so that's why his whole body isn't in here. But his outfit is so cute, I love it. First, we have this Avon pacifier, and this is the only one I've been putting in his mouth. It's uh, super soothing. And then we have this big old thing of pacifiers in here. So let me show you guys the different brands that I have that we're gonna try on him and then let's go ahead and just get started on trying the pacifiers. So we have some, okay, I don't know where to put this, where do I put it here? <laughs> we have some Nook pacifiers that we're gonna try on him. Then we have this Ryan and Rose. I'm super excited for the Ryan and Rose. I really hope it looks cute. And I know it should, or I hope it should, because I heard Ryan and Rose are perfect for the silicones. Then I have some bibs. And these are super cute. I love the colors because I feel like they're a cute neutral color. So there's like a tan one and a gray one. And then we just have this plain one. It's like a Dollar Tree brand. And I just wanted to try this one on him. Or I don't really use these type of pacifiers on any of my babies. But this is a try on video. So we're just going to try on anything, you know. We have this Tommy Tippy one. And this Tommy Tippy one is so cute. And this is a bigger nipple because this came in a pack of two. And I had to get like bigger nipples for the toddler that I made. So hopefully that one isn't too funny. And then we have the ball of pacifiers that he came to me with that I'm gonna try. So we'll do the Jolly Pop one, a Mam one, regular Avon Soothe, and I think that's the only one I'm going to do. Okay, we'll do the Mickey Mouse one just for fun. So those are the pacifiers that we are going to do and try on today for this video so i hope you guys are going to like it and make sure you stick around to see which pacifier fits best so before we get started on trying the pacifiers on this baby i do want to say i apologize if the video gets out of focus anytime i'm doing manual focus instead of autofocus just because i feel like it would be easier so i do apologize if anytime the video goes out of focus i will try to make sure i check it frequently so it stays in focus for you all but yeah let's get started so i want to save the rhino rolls and the bibs for last and the milk okay so we're going to start with something very basic we are going to start with the super soothing so i am going to squeeze his cheeks just a little bit because his mouth is open but it's like slightly open so here is the super soothing in his mouth and i am going to take you guys off 
so this is how the super suli fits it sticks out a little bit on the side but as far as from the front it looks really cute so i'm going to rate the super suli a 8 out of 10. okay so that's the super suli and now we are going to just try the regular suli because why not so this one has a smaller nipple so this one might fit a little better um I'm not using any, uh, what is that called? Baby powder. But let's go ahead and take you guys now. I'm going to take you guys now for each of the pacifiers just so you guys can see it better. So here is the regular Soothe. It fits a little bit better inside of his mouth. And I do like the way this one looks. You know, super simple, super cute, and it just gives me pacify not pacifier it just gives me like hospital vibes so i do like this one and i'm going to rate this one a 9.5 out of 10 just because i wish it was a little further inside of his mouth but i give it a 9.5 out of 10 which is really really good all right on to the next pacifier we are going to do the jolly pop one and see how this one looks i hope it fits him really cute because i like the style of this like i love clear pacifiers and this one is like clear with that same color as the avent so or the soothing okay that one's not too bad so this is how the jolly pop fits i don't really like it too much because you can see like his top lip it like hangs down too low like if it was like up like this it would look cute but it's like too low so i don't i don't like not like it but it's not one of my favorites so i'm gonna give this one a six out of ten all right on to the next and i just realized that these were in the background so i apologize but we're gonna take that one out and we are going to do let's do the man one because this one is all nice and small and it's really cute but the nipple is a little bit bigger than the other ones because the other ones have like a more narrow nipple but this one is kind of like wide at the end so i don't know if that one's going to fit too well yeah i don't think it will i think if i cut it maybe it might fit yeah i definitely have to cut off some of that nipple if i wanted to really fit him but let's go ahead and take a look so here is that man pacifier it sticks out the most out of all of the pacifiers we just tried on him right now and um it's really cute though i do like male pacifiers i think they're really adorable but this one just doesn't fit him too well because of the nipple size but if i were to cut it it would definitely fit him really really well so i give this male one a six out of ten all right let's see our next one we are going to just do this mickey mouse one which i guess is the brand disney babies and it is already cut this is one that he came to me with, so maybe his previous mommy already cut it for him. But I think it's still pretty wide, though, because it doesn't look like it's going to fit him too well. But we'll see. Yeah, so it looks like it had to be cut, like, just a tad bit more. So here's how the Disney one looks. It sticks out a lot as well. And I don't like it in the front because it sits too low. It doesn't really fit in his mouth too good. And I think it needs to be cut a little bit more. So I give this one a 5 out of 10. But it is really cute. And if it was cut some more, it would be really nice on his face. Okay, time for the next pacifier. We'll just do this regular Dollar Tree pacifier. I think this is a Dollar Tree pacifier. This one has a really small nipple, which is really, really good. So I think this one might actually fit him pretty good. He's like, I am tired of this passy try on haul. Okay, so that one actually fits a little bit better than I was expecting just something about these pacifiers like they keep leaning to the side like they're kind of like crooked so i get I have to keep like playing with them to get them straight 
but this one is actually really cute so here how this one looks and i was not expecting this one to be really cute because i don't normally put these on my personal collection babies like the passwords from dollar tree i mean they're really cute i just never thought to put them on them but i'm gonna have to start because i really like how this fits on his face like this has to be one of my favorites so far with the way it fits so i am going to give this one an 8.5 out of 10. i actually really like that a lot it's really cute so yeah guys this one fits like the best like i probably knew it was because of the nipple shape and size i really like that one so let's put this back in here and then we have the Tommy Tippy one. I already know it's not going to fit too well because this is like a 6 to 9 or 12 month size nipple on here. And I already know it's going to be really big. And you guys are probably like, why don't you cut it? I didn't. I don't know. <laughs> we could probably do a video of me. Yeah, this is not going to fit in his mouth. We'll do another video. If you guys want to want me to do another video or you guys want to see me do a video of me cutting um the pacifiers to fit in his mouth a little bit better. Like this one and this one and maybe some more then let me know by commenting down below because i will do that video for you guys but that tommy tippy i'm not gonna even try to force it inside of his mouth so yeah now we have our last three ones so we're gonna do the nook pacifier and these are so cute i love nooks on my babies like nooks have to be one of my favorite brands of pacifiers like they always have i just love them so much so we're going to do this one and like look at the nipple it's so tiny let me show you guys up close like look at that nipple it is so tiny so that's going to fit him really really good so let's just go ahead and try it on him Oh yeah, I knew I loved Nooks for a reason. <laughs> so here how he looks with his Nook pacifier in. That is perfect and it's so cute. It has a little rocket ship on it. I love it. It's an adorable pacifier. Again, I don't know why, but the pacifiers keep like leaning to the side. Like none of them are like really like straight. <laughs> but um, I love this pacifier and I love it on him. So I am going to give this one a 10 out of 10, my first 10 out of 10. So yeah, this one is definitely a 10 out of 10. I love this pacifier on him. It suits his face and it fits him perfectly. So I'm not going to try the other Nook pacifier on him because it's literally the exact same, just a different design. But just know that one's a 10 out of 10 too. Do you guys see me struggling trying to get this open? <laughs> so simple and easy. But yeah, I love these. Like, these are so cute. I'm definitely going to put these on him sometime. I haven't really been putting pacifiers in his mouth except for that other uh, soothy one. So I definitely will have to start putting pacifiers in his mouth. But I just love his cute little open tongue. I just love that his mouth is open. So expressional, his face. So that's why I don't really put them on him. And plus, I wanted to do this video before I actually started exploring with the pacifiers. That way I know what I like and what I don't like and which one looks good and which one doesn't. But let's go ahead and resume the pacifier drying haul. So the next one is these bibs one. And I got this at TJ Maxx for $10. And this is 6 to 18 months. So I do hope that it fits him pretty well because I know it's going to have a pretty big nipple. But I just love the colors. Like they're so neutral and I love neutral things on the babies. Okay, well the nipple is actually pretty tiny and it's like a different material. So I think that it might look pretty good or it might fit pretty good. So this one actually matches pretty well. I like this. Hopefully it looks cute on him because I been wanting bibs pacifiers for a while now and so i'm so happy that i found those and got them Ooh, it's too big <laughs> yeah the nipple is way too long for him so let me show you guys what it looks like so this is how the bibs pacifier turned out it doesn't fit because it's too long but if it did fit it will look so cute on his face so i am going to have to cut it but yeah it's like too big right here so it did not fit him but i could probably like just cut off the end of the nipple and it'll fit him but yeah it did not fit so i'm not gonna be able to rate this one i didn't want to force it into his mouth so i will be cutting it and seeing 
how it looks. So again, if you guys want a video of me cutting the pacifiers that didn't make it in this video, then let me know by commenting down below. And I would definitely do that video for you guys. Look how I just left the pacifier on him like that. <laughs> so that is the second to last pacifier. And now we are on our last pacifier for this video and I'm so excited about this one. So we got this one from TJ Maxx for $6.99. And I think that was a good deal considering these pacifiers are like $13 um, for one. So I was okay with spending $7 for one. But it's just a cute red Ryan and Rose cutie pack. And this is stage one nipple. So they do have different stages which I'll probably actually get a bundle pack with all of the different stages in there and try them, trying them on him. So if you guys would like to see that video as well. Let me know because this one might not fit, but they do have different styles for like of the different nipples. So I might buy some of those and try them on him and see which one fits best in his mouth. But yeah, let's go ahead and go. Enough rambling. Oh, this is so cute. Who has a little R and R Ryan and Rose? And it's a teether on this side. So inventional. So here is how the nipple looks. And let's go ahead and see how it looks in his mouth. I think it's going to be too big just like the other ones. It's just that end piece. The end piece is just a little too big. So it makes it like hard to put in and like it sticks out of his mouth. So yeah. So that one is like a no. <laughs> I'm going to try it again just because I was really excited for this one. But it's actually too big. Like this is like a really big like pacifier so let me try it again like the circle is really big okay this is the cutie pat bulb yeah this is the bulb all right which way this way okay so i got it in a little bit more but it's still like it's a no i'm so sad let me show you guys so here is how the cutie pat bulb looks. I feel like maybe a stage one will look better. But it's just too big in the front and the nipple is too big and it doesn't fit. I am going to cut this pacifier. Most likely. I might not. Who knows. Because it is a cute, um, a cute uh, pacifier for props. And I want to have the nipple on there. So I was really hoping that it was going to fit in his mouth. But it doesn't. It's still super cute, but it's too big and the nipple is too big and I don't really like how it looks on him. So we are going to rate this one a, we're going to do a 7.5 out of 10. Yeah, we're going to do a 7.5. No lower, no higher. But I do want to go ahead and try the different styles on him because I know they're going to look so cute. So again, if you guys would like to see that, then let me know. All right, guys, that was it for this video. So out of all the pacifiers, my favorite was the Nook. And um, that one was pretty much it. That one fit in, fit in his mouth perfectly. The other one that fit really good was the Dollar Tree one. But my favorite that I wanted to fit was the Ryan and Rose, and it didn't. But we're going to probably do some more videos like this. So if you guys would like to see that, let me know by commenting down below. So, you guys in the comments, let me know which one was your favorite that I put in his mouth. Like, which one do you guys think fit him really good? I also like the Soothe on him, of course. Those ones are always pretty good. Which one should we put in his mouth? Um, the Jolly Pop one didn't fit too well either. So, we're going to put this one in his mouth. Yes, I love that so much. It's so cute. So here he is. Oh, let me zoom out a little bit. You guys couldn't even see. I was just putting his pacifiers on his boppy. Okay, so I was just putting his pacifiers around his boppy. I think this looks so cute for maybe a thumbnail just to show the different styles if you guys have any other style of pacifiers you guys think i should try on him let me know by commenting down below um i'm not really good i used to love like pacifiers i used to know all of them but 
I don't really know them anymore because there have been a lot of different like brands and companies coming out with pacifiers. If you guys have one you guys want me to do next time for maybe a part two of this video, then let me know by commenting down below. Sorry guys, he's really big so I'm just trying to get all of him in the frame. <laughs> like you guys can see he takes up this whole boppy. But yeah, also you guys go ahead and let me know in the comments which pacifier you thought fit him the best. My favorite, my top three, Nook soothing and the dollar tree one so um yeah let me take you guys to down off of the tripod so you guys can get a better look at him there he is he is so cute look at him <laughs> he is so cute he's looking at you guys he's saying hi and a lot of you guys have asked me about his eye color he does have one brown eye and one green eye in i wanted to see how he looked with the green eye in and so I put them in and then I just liked how it looked with the one and the one. So I decided to leave it like that. I think he looks really unique. So thank you to everyone who said something that was nice about it. I appreciate you guys so much. Alright guys, so that is it for this video. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram at my underscore reborn so you guys can see photos of my babies. Follow my friend Alexis Reborns 101. She has beautiful babies. Go ahead and subscribe to her YouTube channel as well. She has amazing videos on her channel and go ahead and watch those. If you guys haven't saw my Macy's, go ahead and check it out to see all the cute baby clothes and the baby items that I have on there. If you guys have not joined my membership, go ahead and consider doing so because it's all 